Tennessee. According to the district attorney's office this month, 12 people have died from suspected overdose deaths in Knox County. That brings the total this year up to 212, which is just 81 away from meeting last year's total of 293. Now we've told you stories about how opioids can destroy lives. They can destroy families. But tonight, Yvonne Thomas has a look at the other way that these stories can go and introduces us to a man who wants to help others recover just like he did. Yvonne. Daniel, that's right. Opioid abuse cost Scott Smith his home, his job, and almost his life. And now he's traveling from city to city, teaching others what he's learned through recovery and how now he's dying to live. Traveling from city to city, Scott Smith is on a mission, sharing a story of redemption and recovery with anyone who will listen. I, I get it. I understand. So sorry. I mean, I'm a recovering addict. Yeah. Just looking at him, you'd probably never guess. Spent my lifetime uh, in addiction, trying to die. That just a few years ago, he was the one in need of hope. Each day, I would just take more and more and more until it led up into such an addiction it overtook my life. His 13-year struggle with opioid abuse cost him nearly everything he had. It all came to an end for me. Uh, I walked into a drugstore with a knife in my hand and uh, robbed them of methadone. And so uh, I received a 10-year prison sentence. Just when he thought his life was over, the help he needed came from inside an East Tennessee prison. And I put, get put in a cell with a guy named Spencer Coon, who is from this area. And all Spencer Coon would do is read his Bible. He had joy in his life. He was locked up, but he was free as a bird. Everyone loved him. He had something I wanted. I was miserable, and I wanted what he had. Now that he's got it, Scott says he's living in his purpose by sharing the gospel and his life story. I absolutely adore my life now. Hoping to inspire others along the way. And Smith's book, Dying to Live, is available online and at the Brushy Mountain Prison gift shop. And in just two days, he says he sold more than 400 copies. Daniel. Showing you can always rewrite your story. Thank you. If you or someone you know needs help, we do have a list of resources online at WBIR.com. Just go to the menu at the top of the screen and click the Features tab. Then scroll down and choose OD Epidemic.